next week there's a new sheriff in town, one whose campaign promise was transparency. Action 7 News reporter Angel Salcedo spoke with John Allen about the changes he plans to make in a story you'll see only on 7. Angel. Well, John Allen was sworn into office just two days ago, and he says he's bringing a new database-driven approach to his new position. It's been a dream of mine, like I explained before, to be uh, the sheriff of Bernalillo County. John Allen has worked in law enforcement for 26 years, and now he's the leader of Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office. What do we have to do to make this a better place to live for all of us? That's immediately where I went. Allen says his journey starts with one word, transparency. Immediately it builds trust. And then at that time, it restores trust, and we want to make sure that we keep that trust with the community. And that transparency comes through data. Right now, if you go to BCSO's website, you'll notice that there are just three data sets available. Crime from the third quarter of 2021, fourth quarter of 2021, and first quarter of 2022. That's almost a year behind where we are today. It shouldn't be that difficult to obtain that data. Even if we're behind a little bit, we need to be a lot more updated than the beginning of 2022. It's going to take just a little bit of time, so please be patient with us. But something that's on our website, that way you can go to crime statistics, see what area of town it's in, see who we're working with, something that's given quarterly or whatever time frame that we give. Hopefully that people are a lot more safe than they are today as I'm sitting here in this seat. As deadly crime rises in Bernalillo County, Allen says his office's relationship with Albuquerque police is vital. I want criminals to know in Bernalillo County we're coming and we're working together. As well as how they work with everyday New Mexicans. But people forget that they're police officers also. That's where we get information from. And we're, we're human beings. We take off the badge. We're part of this community. And I can speak words all day long, but I show things through our actions on what the Sheriff's Department does. And I want to make sure that's consistent and that continues throughout my tenure. Sheriff Allen also says that he's going to continue working with the Bernalillo County District Attorney's Office to try and prosecute as many violent criminals as possible. I'm live at BCSO headquarters, Angel Salcedo, KOAT, Action 7 News. Angel, thank you. Sheriff Allen also brings two new undersheriffs, Sergeant Joanne Durano and Lieutenant Aaron Williamson.